Okay, so um, one of the really cool things that we can do with webcam input beyond just seeing a video and um, maybe manipulating those pixels or changing playback um, is all the things that machine learning and artificial intelligence um, allow us to extract from, from those videos. Um, there's so many, we're gonna talk about some of these, but the one of the really fun ones is face tracking um, and a feature recognition within a face. So um, traditional face tracking is just finding a face, drawing a box around it. It knows that there's a face, it knows where the face is. Maybe if it's a smart face tracker, it can keep track of multiple faces and know which one is which. Um, but uh, one of the things that we can add to this is this ability for it not only to see our face, but to draw or to know where the features in our face are. And there's a lot of um, libraries that do this and um, ways of approaching it. But this um, code called Calm Tracker is really awesome. And uh, you can see a little example here of kind of what that looks like. So it's not just, again, it's not just finding the face, but it's it knows where the eyes are, it knows where the eyebrows, the nose, the mouth, um, and it's able to really robustly track them, um, even if you're moving your face around and stuff like that, which is really awesome. Um, this is, I'm gonna say this person's name terribly wrong, I'm really sorry. Um, someone named, uh, the library is by someone named Audun Matthias Oigard. It's on GitHub, you can also check it out. Um, it's really cool. And this way, if you wanted to participate in the development of this, you could do that too. Um, but what we're gonna need to be able to add this, um, we're gonna need some of this info here. We're gonna need this image that's gonna tell us where those features are. Um, and we're also gonna need the library itself. We'll come to that in a sec. Um, and so I'm in my editor here. And um, before we add the face tracking stuff, we need to get our webcam input working. So let's start with that. Um, I'm gonna say create canvas. And uh, for this, I'm gonna do 640, 640 by 480. Um, that should be a pretty good kind of baseline size for us to work with. And um, to get our webcam input now in um, Java processing, we have to import a library, we have to do some other stuff. P5.js makes this super easy. I'm gonna create a uh, global variable called webcam, and I'm gonna set it equal to null. Null means nothing, no value, and this is just gonna help avoid errors um, as we're going. And then we need to create the webcam. Oops. And uh, for this, and webcam is just a variable name. We could call it whatever we want. So I'm gonna say webcam equals create capture video. Video needs to be in all caps. And so this is gonna just kind of set that up. And then I can say webcam.size is going to be the width and the height of the screen. And that's all we need to do. It's super easy to display it. It's also really simple. We can just say image webcam zero zero and p5.js handles all this on its own. It's really great. So I'm gonna save this and run it. And now this little thing pops up and depending on what browser you're using, you might get a different sort of window. I'm in Firefox. Um, it's asking, do you want this weird string of numbers? That's the IP address. Again, that's the like internal web server that um, processing was created. Do you want this uh, website to be able to use this camera? Um, and in this case, I have two cameras set up. So I have the internal camera in my laptop that I'm not using. And then I have the one here that you're seeing. Um, so I'm gonna select the camera that I wanna use. Now you could click, click remember this decision if you trust the website. For now, I'm just gonna click allow and not do that. Um, so I'm gonna say allow, and there I am. <laughs> we got, um, we actually have triple Jeff going on here. Uh, this is cool. But one of the things you'll notice is that uh, for some reason we're doubled. And um, I'm not exactly sure why this is how this works. But if I use this inspector over here to investigate, um, and I'm not sure you're gonna be able to see this, but um, the one on the top is the canvas. This is the thing that P5.js has created. And then down here is actually a video tag, um, an HTML tag. And um, I, I don't know why there's doubles here, but the way to get rid of this is right after webcam.size, we can say webcam.hide. And now when I refresh this, I'm gonna to have to choose my camera and allow again. 
There we go. Now we just have one. So you'll see in a lot of P5JS examples, this webcam.hide, and it's not hiding the whole camera or something like that. It's actually just hiding that double one. Not sure why, but that's, that's how we fix it. So cool. We have our webcam inputs looking really good. Um, the next thing we need to do is add the face tracking library. And to do that, um, if you go to the GitHub page, eventually, uh, you know, you come to here and if you scroll down, you're going to find, where is it? I had it, um, this link here. So if you see this usage, download the minified library, this is going to be the condensed version of it. Um, and that's going to, if you click on that link, take you to this crazy looking thing. Um, actually, this is the one that we want. So I'll, I'll post a link in the code example here, but this is what we want. Um, and you should see something that ends up looking like this, which is, this is the whole library. This is a big, huge thing. Um, and we can just save this. So if you go to file, save, or command or control S, I'm gonna save it to the downloads folder here. And, and then we need to add it to our sketch. And there's two steps that we need to do for that. The first, is to actually um, include that code in a place that our, um, our sketch can find it. And so I just did a command K, that's the shortcut for opening up the sketch um, folder. And you'll see this libraries folder here. So demo.js, that's our, our sketch, index.html, that's the container that holds it. And then if I double click this, um, actually it's already in there, but um, this is the p5.js library is inside there. And then I also want to drag this column tracker um, into here. And so now we can see it actually got two things, but P5JS doesn't know that it's in there. So we need to go into, we've been doing most of our work in this demo or in our sketch file, but this index.html, we need to then tell it to load this. And this can be a little weird um, if you've never done web design before, it can look a little daunting. Um, basically, what we have here is the structure of the web page that our canvas tag gets stuck in. Um, here is, um, oh, interesting. Okay, so um, it looks like we don't need to do anything else. If you're working in the um, online editor, you have to actually sort of specify it, but um, it appears that this is smart enough to see that we dragged that file in there and it's added this extra line. Normally, that this wouldn't be there, which is really awesome. How easy is that? And we can actually ignore everything else in here. We don't have to really think about it. So now that we have the calm tracker, let's go ahead and I'm just going to refresh this to make sure everything works, um, that there's no problems. Cool. Still got my video. Looks great. Um, and so now we're going to create, I'm going to go back to the demo here. I'm going to make two more variables. I'm going to call one tracker, and I'm also going to set that to null. That's going to be the calm tracker object. And then we're going to create one called uh, features. And this is going to be our list of facial features. And then in my setup, after I create the webcam, I'm going to connect face tracking to the webcam. So I'm going to say tracker. And this is all um, pulled from the demo page here. Tracker equals new CLM dot tracker. So that's going to create the instance of this um, object. Then we're going to say tracker dot init. This is going to start it up and then tracker dot start. And then we want to connect it to webcam dot ELT. And uh, I had meant to look this up. I'm sorry. I don't know what that ELT is, but um, basically this just like connects the two. So the tracker knows to work from the webcam. 